Hello, and welcome to another video by ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to WinX DVD Ripper Platinum. Uh, this is just like other DVD rippers that you find on the market. Uh, this one here is fairly simple to use. It's not very complex. Uh, it does have some special features to it, which I will go through uh, later on in other videos. Now, this program here allows you to rip DVDs, ISO images, and DVD folders. Now, as far as encryption is concerned, uh, it does support homemade DVDs. It supports commercial DVDs, DVD region code enhanced, user operation protection, uh, Sony protections. This one is among the few do have the Disney X Project DRM uh, support. And it also supports the analog protection system. Uh, it does support other ranges of protections, and including, like, say, the 99 title DVDs. Uh, this will also work with those. Now, I will go through the process and show you how to use the software for different types of DVDs. Now, as for output formats, uh, when you're ripping a DVD, that you have a choice of over 300 different uh, video and audio codecs. Now, the whole software will work with Windows 7, 8, and 10. Uh, it would also work with Mac operating systems uh, from Snow Leopard on up to the new Catalina. Now, as far as the layout is concerned, um, as you see here, it's fairly simple. Uh, this side is a quick start uh, to start your DVDs. Uh, over here, you have the preview window. Uh, this allows you to uh, play the video while it's loaded. Uh, down here, it shows you the time or the marker as to where it's at in the video. You have your playback functions. Over here, you have the camera. Uh, this allows you to take uh, frame shots of the video. Over here, you have the folder icon. This allows you to set the folder to store the screenshots of the video. Uh, this also provides hardware acceleration using Intel and NVIDIA. Now, it also has uh, use high quality engine. And this is to ensure that when you're pr ripping these videos, it uses the extra processing power to make the videos as high quality as possible. Uh, De-interlacing, which is not something you may have to use, but it allows the program to de-interlace the video. You also have a safe mode. Now this safe mode is allowed to uh, let you resolve common problems that you may have with ripping. Uh, if you're having trouble ripping or converting a DVD to um, a format, and it errors out, then you can use safe mode to try to resolve those problems. For those of you who also have a multi-core processor, uh, many of them nowadays do have at least two processors in them. Uh, the core processor use allows you to choose the number of, pro of cores that you can use, the software can use. Uh, in this case, my computer has a, a quad-core processor. And I've got mine set to four cores. Uh, down here, you also have the one button. So once you select uh, the format and everything that you're ready to rip, you can select run. Down here at the bottom is the destination. This is the folder that you could choose. Uh, you could click browse to look for a, a location to store all the rip videos and the open will allow you to open that location. Up here in the upper left, you have the disk. Uh, when you select it, you'll see the window come up. Uh, this shows you the name of the DVD. Uh, auto detect is often used. So if once you load a disk in, this will automatically detect the, the DVD that's in it. You do also have other options uh, depending on the DVD as to what format it's using. And then you just click OK. Here you have the output profile that comes up. Now, these are preset. 
um, just basic profiles that you can use. Uh, as you can see here, it shows the recently ones. Uh, these are the ones that I've been using uh, to test it out. And you have the impact, you have your iPhones. Uh, here you can clone your DVDs. Um, you can create the ISO. Uh, you also have general ones. This is just basic ones uh, for your different tablets, uh, like your iPhones, your iPads, Androids. These are just the basic, um, or I should say most commonly used formats. Uh, here you also have disk back or DVD backups, and you can choose on how you want the backup to be performed. Uh, here you have all your Apple devices. Uh, each device, you can pick and choose exactly which model you have. And then on the right, you can select the quality of that video. Uh, if the more you move it to the left, the less the quality of the video is, but the less space that it takes up. Here you also see the Android. Uh, you see all the ones that it supports for different models. Uh, you can either do it manually with uh, Pacific codecs and screen resolutions and so forth, or you can pick a, your device out of this list. Now, as you further go down, you can also do YouTube videos. Uh, you can do it for Facebook, uh, Vimeo, uh, general web videos. Now, if you want to do it for your PC, uh, you also have one for Windows PCs. Uh, you also have one for Mac computers. Now, if you have TVs that you want to rip videos for, you also have a selection here of your TVs, ranging from Samsung to LG. Now, this is where I showed you about the uh, music. Uh, if you have a music DVD, uh, you can take your favorite music off there and rip it into... Uh, MP3 or AAC and so forth if you want to play it on your iPod or if you want to play it on an MP3 player. Uh, if you want to do high definition videos, uh, you can also support different high definition videos like M2TS formats. Once you decided which format you want to use, you can select it and then choose OK. Now this has detected that it is a Disney encrypted DVD. So this lets you know that this is a special type of DVD that it does recognize and it will rip. Now the program here itself comes in very handy because as you can see here, it will list the titles that's on the track, shows you the length of each title. It shows you the frame that each title is in, whether it's a 16 by nine, which is widescreen, or if it's a four by three, which is a standard full frame. It also shows you the language that it's using and how many channels it's going to use. And when you click on it, you could choose which type of channel that you want to use. If you want to use two channel, or if you want to use six channels, and whether or not you want to use AC3 or DTS. Subtitles, you also have choices for that, and that depends on the subtitles you want, and it depends on the movie. Uh, for instance, this particular movie has multiple languages and subtitles. You have English, Spanish. Now, this also allows you to insert uh, titles or subtitles in the program for each tra video track. Over here, you also have an edit button. Uh, this edit button here will allow you to see a preview. Uh, you can also move the timer uh, anywhere into the marker here. Uh, if the movie is too soft, you can use this to adjust the video volume. Uh, here you could do subtitles if you want to add subtitles. Uh, if you want to make clips or crops, make uh, change the videos. Uh, if you want to do clips as well and make the, uh, a specific clip, like I see a lot of you do when you do reviews about movies on YouTube. So you can allow you to do some editing. Up here, it shows you the t how many titles have been detected. And this is the main title. And the main title has 
the primary video, or in this case, the movie. Uh, this shows you how many titles are selected to be ripped. The merge files comes in handy uh, if you have multiple tracks or multiple titles and you want to merge them into one video. Uh, you can select this box and select the videos that you want to merge together. Over here you have the target. This shows you what the uh, format is going to be after the rip. The output file is going to be the name of the movie or title and the format that it's going to be in. You can also set tags, name the file, and you can also list information about that file. Over here you can choose, uh, this is the format that it's going to be in. If you click the gear, this is where you can fine tune uh, the, the encoding process. For instance, you can change your codec, you can set the frame rate, uh, you can set the bit rate, you can also set the aspect ratio. You can also uh, adjust the audio codecs and channels and the quality of the, of the audio. Now, once you decide what you have and you're ready to go, all you have to do now is go down here and click Run. Now, up here, you can also do ISO images. You can also do folders. And it will allow you to rip music out of those ISOs. Now, this is a great program. I've been using it for a few days. I like it. Uh, there are some improvements that I think they can use uh, with the software, but it gets the job done nonetheless. Uh, you also have your clear option. This just clears your list out. Uh, you have your options. Uh, you can select the language. Uh, you can select um, the output folder if you want it to open when the conversion is completed. Or if you're going to do a long list or it's going to be late at night, you can select it to shut down the computer when it's finished. You also have your output folder. This is this folder that I showed you down here that you can change where you want to store the ripped videos. And this, of course, is the snapshot folder, which is also this icon I showed earlier. Now, this will periodically check for any updates. So if an update goes through, then this will notify you to let you know when one's ready. Over here, you can also manually check uh, for updates. Uh, this one here will tell you the information about your version, uh, if it's licensed or if it's trialed. Now, if you need uh, some assistance, you can also get support uh, with your computer. Over here, you have the envelope here. This is the email. Now, they do have a uh, frequently asked questions list so of common problems that people may have run into and how to resolve those problems. Now, if you're not able to find the, the solution or you know, you, you're asking a question but no one knows the answer to, then you can also send an email to support. Now, registered users can get a response from support a lot faster than if it's just a trial version. Now, this also has a view log. And what this does is if you are having some problems, this could be used to send them information as to what may be causing the problem, and then they can help you resolve that problem. Over here, you have the question mark. Uh, here, you have the help. Uh, if you click help, this will bring you to their website and a user guide to help you get started and how to use all the features uh, in the program. Uh, you can also select your language as to which language you need to use for your uh, preference on your software. And as you can see, the program is very useful. Uh, it works very well. You do have some different options, and it's a very simple to use. Now, do stay tuned. I will be showing some other videos to show you how to get the most out of the software for your DVDs. Well, I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.